Oh, man. So, getting into it, we do have a Void. We do have a Cola getting up there. Uh, Void, I, when he's walking up, he was like, dude, I've not. I don't beat Steve's. <laughs> he said he beat one Steve, and then he got 3-0 by the one right after. So, yeah. He's a I really believe pretty record. losing record against Steve. It sounds Steve. hard. Really I mean, yeah. like, it's, it's hard on its own, and let alone the fact that, you know, He's coming into this, you know, and this is no shots. You know, I love Void, but maybe one of the weaker competitors. I mean, we know how strong he is, especially he got so far in squad strike, right? right. We know how good he is. And we know how talented he can be. But in terms of, you know, the grind and competition yeah. has sort of taken a back seat in a lot of ways. Right. So we'll see I if mean, his, the game uh, has just really changed, right? Yeah. So, like, I feel like I feel like even when you look at Void, um, one of his big strengths was like, early like in early meta like his combo game right his punish game but a lot of people have caught up in punish game as well so a lot of that stuff now while like we still know that like void because is someone that he can hang regardless that big gap in punish game is not there anymore right right so i think that's a very big thing because that's such a mainstay of his game plan talent can be a huge boost in the beginning mm -hmm. but you know obviously hard work will eventually catch up and it feels like you know void okay but void has both he yeah, yes, exactly. Boy, and he's a gamer. And he's he been grinding god gamer. this god yes, hard. Gamer. Yes, he is a god gamer. Like, I'd be tuning into the Void stream, I'm like, oh, you're immortal in Valorant? Yeah. You're yeah. double <laughs> masters yeah. in the League Easy. and, and everything. Overwatch and, every, yeah. and the rhythm games and fighting? Like, yeah. everything. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Here we go, game one. We're gonna keep it tight here on Smashville. How? Tiny stage, and that is uh, that's a tough start. <laughs> Just getting bonked. <laughs> So I actually think Sheik does pretty good in this. Uh, mainly, like, a lot of important things. Like you saw there, like, the low profile on the sword swing out of right. shield. I, I told him a lot of things, so... Um, and, and also, what you said before about Void not being, like, warm, maybe, or whatever. Sure. Um, I played him in friendlies. This Sheik is... It's ready to go. It's ready to so, go. Oh, well, he's, okay. uh, don't get me wrong. He's been grinding like crazy, especially on his stream. He's yeah. been playing so much, but, you know, over the course of, like, a year, it's been less so. But over the course of the last month... Oh, dude. Oh, that, that was everything. <laughs> nice, yeah. <laughs> But also, like, what about the Fox? Because, you know. He has been playing a lot of Fox, I mean, yeah. Might be doing it. You know, his we Fox. We can do that instead, though. His Fox oh, is, we can do that instead. So, no, this is way. Yeah. But this so is a better matchup, I yeah. promise. All right. Like, well. Sheik has the, like, um, low hit lag to be able to, like, deal a lot of different things, like breaking uh, blocks without, like, be putting yourself in lag because they always try to, like, you know, punish you for breaking their own blocks or something. Right. And these long combos go a long way because, uh,. It, it's it's not very often you'll find a character that actually exploits um, these weaknesses on these DLC characters. You'll notice they have bad stats, particularly. So when they get popped up into blenders, like Sheik Forward Tilts, it really starts exposing their weak points. Yeah. Do you think... Uh, so one thing that I've seen from Steve a lot is it's easy to sort of push him back to the corner and put him in the ledge or near the ledge and then force him like, okay, you're going to minecart? What's your... Try, how are you going to try to get out? Are you going to burst out? I know that Peach is particularly good at that. Do you think Sheik has an advantage there? Because you can see yeah. it there. With a strong head. Rare, really right? nimble. Bouncing fish, yep, absolutely. Like, rather than raw speed, because, like, Palo has raw speed. Fish, yep. Bouncing fish, yep. Rather than raw speed, being, like, nimble is more, like, appreciated in this matchup. The agility, matchup. And Sheik sure. is super agile. Right. Like, my character's not even fast, but I'm nimble, so, right. like... This is beautiful, man. Just say, like, beautiful. You see how Void's just chilling under the platform. He's, like, standing outside of Akola's threat range, mm -hmm. just kind of daring him to do anything. Catches yeah. the roll in. Oh, pull down. Yep, yep. There we go. Oh, Easy damage. Dude. Damn, I didn't even know he could still get that bouncing fish. Oh, yes, you can. Oh, it's over. <laughs> oh, no. Well, uh, where got are you the tools? wrong hit. Okay, there you go. He's got a diamond on the actual. Oh, oh, yeah. Kaboosh. Yeah, you got to grab that, bro. That was first stop, get though, man. Boy got, got so much. Like, to get this far ahead of Sheik, <laughs> the amount of work you have to do. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, he's playing. He's playing yeah. out of his mind right he's now. He's getting confirmed. And uh -oh. I mean, obviously, like, one of the big things, too, right? We talk about Sheik. It's like, some, they say some kill confirms are a little bit more situational, but obviously he's been getting better at those. And off stage, right? Getting those easy bouncing fishes, that's been a big, big way that he's been able to actually get ahead. And yep, drag down, down smash. Yes, we will do yeah. that. That's Yeesh. game one. Yeah, I, I was I thought he was going to go for the uh, raindrop, but like, nah, I mean, if you, have, you have that much damage, you don't even need it. So it good stuff. I just want to point fun. out yeah. one thing that happened on the right side while his uh, raindrop missed is uh, the crafting table spawned mid up air. <laughs> Oh. It's actually a very big problem that I told him about. Ah. But I really want to say uh, he's doing a really good job right now because I yeah. told him, since he plays MOBAs, right? right he right. understands. I told him uh, the anvil and the cart are like MOBA tools, actually, because the anvil quite literally spawns, hits the ground, and it takes two seconds for it to despawn. So that's their cooldowns. Yeah. yeah. Um, same thing with the cart and stuff like that. Like, right. he can't use them until they despawn. He's doing an amazing job mm -hmm. of managing their cooldowns. That, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and he's really good at that. And I honestly think that, like, A, I think you're also, like, a really good at, like, uh, 
breaking down like these strategies and topics uh, like just hearing you like even when we had you on coach's corner it was really great and but then also too i know void is also really adept student as well like i think some of these, there's players that because they're they're masters in the way they're also like constant students of the game as well of course. And, and i think that you it's like you're definitely a person that's in that way and then like also for void so yeah it, it was actually interesting just kind of hearing you guys talk about it and then seeing some of the stuff being put into practice did you hear the part where i warned him about the stages like yes. the stage picks specifically and the strategies on them like different like I don't think a lot of people can actually just take my words to like yeah. part and like that, but Void is one of those people who can yes, just exactly. listen to me and apply like yeah. immediately. Like it has been like less than 40 minutes since we've spoken right. and he's doing it. <laughs> he's just I, got the brain for it. Yeah. So I, I'm interested to see how much of a wake up call this is for Ecola. We talked to him yesterday or I believe, yeah, for the player interviews and he particularly mentioned the speed of the gameplay or uh, it, it, it's sort of the, the difference between Japan and America and the way that the game is played. It feels like Void is just smothering. He's so fast. Yeah. And he's pressure. so, like you said, nimble. And it feels like he doesn't get that opportunity to breathe. And because of that, we have to see how he wants to adapt for the rest of the set. I love throwing the grenade over, he's trying to break those blocks. I think it's interesting, too, because it seems like Ecola, like you said, uh, due to the speed overall, he much more values actually mining. I remember when he right. initially came over here, he didn't mine at all. Bro, he had care. no resources. Oh, no resources. Zero. Zero. That full <laughs> no blocks. Yeah, no money in the bank account. He didn't care. Like, he was out here. But now he's always sitting down trying to mine and really sees the value of that because otherwise he just gets straight smothered. Oh. Speaking of smothered right now, Void just really can't find an answer. Getting blocked yeah. out again and again. Minecart's going to land and Akola really locking this one down. That height of Minecart is actually the most problematic one. So um, an interesting thing here to see is that if he even just did a little bit better job dodging, he would actually have naturally like depleted his resources. Right. Because now all his goes. blocks are going to be like iron. Right. So... Um, yeah, but I, I did tell him like uh, a cola is just like light where it's like once they get their ass beat They will just start like slowing it down like everyone's like oh light is so I mean light is so aggressive And then like you beat his ass and then he starts laser camping and then it's like the same thing a cola does with like right. He just starts blocking across the stage over and yeah. over Why did light catch that stray bro? He already got COVID Like let him let it The people need to know the truth The people need to know the truth Okay <laughs> like, damn, oh, oh, oh. oh the charge Yep. Ah. Shouts to Jake, we miss you. Damn. <laughs> oh. Try down. No. The block blocks. Ooh. No, he's playing too much. He's actually way too close to him. What oh. stage do you think he goes? I mean, Smash was um, clearly just, just like the, the battlefields are like their best stage. Like right. some Jeez. of the best right. stage. Oh, he's yeah. getting yeah. uh, yeah. I think if it really does feel like if he get when he get that's how the match is gonna go. He either runs over him, he gets absolutely like I don't think there's gonna be any like close games. First stock wins probably. Yeah. Just whoever gets that first stock because you can just build such a huge lead in either direction. You yeah. you can bring it back. It's just a don't get hit moment like right. how I do mm -hmm. sometimes. It's mm -hmm. just it's really uh, not normal. So you were saying a little bit earlier, right? Like you just felt like for the most part he was playing way too close with him, right? Like he was in a kind of in like beyond that burst range. I, I just mean like if times. he's trying to bring it back, especially on that second and like right. uh, third stock, he got early up tilted. Like he was like doing some like weird landing up air thing near him and he right. got up tilted. It's like and uh, that time he got forward smash on the second stock and he exactly. died in the corner, he's playing too much. Way like, too close, yeah. <laughs> if you're that close to Steve, you gotta get out. It's just like, I see yeah. people like fight Kazuya sometimes in those ranges. Like you just need to reset over yeah. and over and over. Like it has to be so patient. And like, that's the only way you can genuinely like exploit these characters being so limited. Right. Cause the whole point of like Snake and Kazuya and like Steve being limited in their movement quotation marks is that you have to consistently reset until you see an actual good opening. Opening and go from there, yeah. yeah. And, it, and it seemed like uh, from game one, that's what we saw, right? Where he was kind of staying a bit more in that mid range, right? Uh, and where he was picking and choosing versus actually outright fighting right. him, which seems to be kind of happening right now. Okay, good give him attack though to get through that, but yeah, Void. Has not really been able to get any of like that magic we saw in that first uh, game. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Slaps. Using every tool. Get out my face. <laughs> not Leave the me wood. alone. We building. I'm busy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm that's, yeah. that's true. Yeah. Man. What? Yeah. Yeah. Not real life. <laughs> Steve, is, Steve is so... Steve is Steve. <laughs> Steve is Steve, bro. Yeah. I think about that combo every day of my life. I'm just like, <laughs> I got wooden up tilted and charge up smash one time. I was like, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Cole's defense Wrecked definitely up has stepped up, up. A, a, a lot too, man. Considerably. Yeah. yeah. Man, it's like, I don't want to get hit anymore. You're not getting any long combos on me. He almost got away with that. Oh, why'd it go that way? Yeah, that was interesting. Oh, bouncing fish, still gonna live. 
This character nice. can have trouble actually securing uh, the kill, uh, and there's the minecart to stop fish. that. Uh, yeah, hi. Look how much he has to do, bro. Like, <laughs> just seven di million different uh, hit kill confirms. And not getting the actual confirm of it. He's going to get back on the stage, though. Uh. Well, that's the thing. It's like, yeah, a little tricky on that. The, the thing about Sheik is like, she's amazing if you can hit your shit. Yeah. But it's like, it's so difficult to do. So much changes. You can see a cola is kind of taking advantage yeah. of that. Charging the needles as the blocks drop. I, I do love that down smash though, right? Because it's kind of going back to what you're saying, where like you only can do dare again once it despawns. Right. That down smash essentially is like a yeah. stall, right? For and then he gets it again. A lot okay, of damage on. here, though. Um, oh, and he's going to get it right back. Uh-uh. Wow, Why that not? was way easier. Yes, damage. <laughs> damage. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. You can hold the A button. That's that's actually, like, a perfect <laughs> microcosm of, like, top tiers and mid tiers in a nutshell. Like, I can right. taste I see the tear right gap. Yeah. I can taste the tear gap. Oh, my God. Delicious. All right. I'm going to try to get out of this corner here. In the center. That should be breaking soon. Yeah, he's the pressure. <laughs> See, uh, sitting pretty on resources, got another diamond also. I mean, this is a Cola's game to lose. And, and you know, Sheik is not really that X-Factor character that really sneaks wins away. Not True. usually. I mean, oh, yeah. it does have some stuff, but we're not going to see it now. In the back. That's game three. Yeah, that, that's always the, the combination you have to avoid. It's the it's the cart, it's the down air, and then the four or back air, usually the back air. So and it's like, geez. My thing that. there is like... I know it's hard to do, and a lot of people aren't good at it. So I noticed, like, Void, like, especially in the other game, he, like, jumped into the cart, and that game, like, that situation happened there. The Anvil's on cooldown on the left side, so when he, like, carts over to the right, he can literally just crouch, and I, I mean it when I say, like, just, like, stand there and just, like, lock your eyes onto the screen and don't get falling back here, because, like, they can't Anvil you, so you're, you're very, like, perfectly fine to just plant yourself there, but everyone, as soon as they see cart, their instinct is to, like, run, jump, to or, like, away from do it. something. Right. It's like, ah! Mm -hmm. But, like, that angle of cart, like, it took, like, actual like training of me like sitting there with my coach and like him just being mm -hmm. like it's a high cart it's a low cart knowing the angle of it right. where you should be like since he's so close to it you want to stay low yeah but it's just it, it actually is really hard like mm -hmm. the panic instinct to just jump into right. it like that it's just just because such a powerful option yeah. right you just want to get out of the way all right go to game four going to back on town and city let's see if uh void can find an option here i think Void's gonna try and speed it up yeah because he's not having a good time like playing infinite dodge. Right. <laughs> so Void, I mean, yeah, it's, as you said, it's definitely gonna have to have to like really dial it. Well, I feel like it's almost like dialing back, but at the same time, like truly get in there. That sucks that that's a kill, but <laughs> there are so many up airs like that that just it looks like it, right? Yeah. Like I've seen Politanas and I mean Greninjas. That's right, never makes kills. me so mad. Oh, here we go. We're going right to left. Ooh. Oh, he switched oh. it up. Smix! <laughs> oh, yeah. That was almost dangerous. <laughs> he can yeah. do anything. Quality Smix. <laughs> quality. I went from the jab to the oh, up to yeah, the That's quality it. right there. <laughs> Still working with the wood tools right now. Not that sad. Yeah, Not really there. stressing about it either. All right. He'll fight. I like the, definitely like the needles to get over there. Just to kind of like, if he had jumped, if he had got over those blocks, that would have been great needles, but... He is and so brave for fighting him there. I would have just jumped mm -hmm. over the other side of the wall. <laughs> Get that central back. Oh, try to uh, trade the tough back. trade. It's so strong. Uh, and with the rage, okay. too. But quite oh, okay. Comes off stop. the platform yeah, of the we'll bouncing fish. Why not? Oh, swinging. Ooh. That could have been way worse. Crap. Absolutely. Rare miss by a cola. Ooh, okay. Headshot. Coverage, man. Wake up over the down tilt. Over the down tilt, and now I've seen this movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny because you're like, I just feel like there's like a like a really big action scene like uh, background playing when Void's doing stuff, and then it's just like freaking Bob the Builder over here. It's like an unskippable cutscene. Yeah. I just have to watch this whole thing again and again. Gets the drag down forward tilt. All right, he's oh, trying to rack it up. Block. Okay, but Void finding himself in the lead, though, here on the two stocks. Akola's doing such a good job of stuffing Void's offense. Like, when Void does try to jump in, he's got oh, these that things that'll just pop out. He's got these aerials that he's sort of throwing out, and then he'll drift away just to let Void, you know, know, trying to keep him honest. 
I, I need him to double jump bouncing fish over this block right now. Like, oh my god, he's so evasive. Oh, yeah, he's gone. All right, time to build. No, build. he's so tricky. All right, he's building up. Diamonds up. Diamonds up, and he's already got the second one too. So even when he loses this stock, still coming back to. Oh, get off my stage. That gave him the shimmy. Now we build him. Nice. Oh. Too high, right? Every tool in the kit here. Yeah. Bro, Akola be building, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. that's all right. That's he, one. It's cool. Like, <laughs> Void is like, he was, every time he talks to me about Sheik, it always sounds like he's memeing, but then he actually pulls it out. He was like, yo, I've, <laughs> I've been replacing my four, uh, my neutral layers with back airs, just in neutral. Like, <laughs> he, he was like, what? He was like, it's just going to work. And then he knew, knew uh, back air bouncing fishes <laughs> instead of neutral. I was like, all right, bro. He's, like, he's actually not capping. Was it Love Smash it. 4 that we told him to just run up and up smash? I, I don't know if it was Smash 4 this game or what it was, but he told him, dude, just to throw out up smash randomly, and it worked. <laughs> <laughs> he just kept doing it. Okay, we're getting some punishes here. Oh, drag down. There we go. Start up. They did the second one, though, way too high up on that yeah, second. Really good spot here. Oh, gets hit by Ooh, Carp, didn't but dodge that? Yeah. See the problem here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Well, that would have killed anyway, but still could have got that damage with right. that bouncing fish. Void is winning, but if you. Oh, wow. wow. That's robbery. Oh, he's Jesus. living. It's so close. Not again, though. Just because of town. Wait, that's yeah. still working because I thought that was only uh, di not diamond. Uh, stone. No, you or, can do that on dirt. Or anything. Yeah. Okay, nah. <laughs> that was blessing. Yeah, you thought there was snipe. a limit? Yeah. yeah. Do whatever I want. Get out of there. Okay. No. Okay. Oh, oh, it might objected. be over. Yes, sir. Wow. Come with me. I'm so surprised he doesn't dodge. You know, to dodge on the cart, like hit, hit lag. Yeah. The shield. I thought yeah. he. Was, I thought it was over when he got trapped in the between the anvil and the block. He I was did like, it for oh, some. Yeah. Initially, it felt like, but then yeah. afterwards, he got hit by a lot of them. Because I saw him yeah. got hit by the recurring hitbox of the jump. Right. Like after the he shielded it. I don't know. Mm. God, Steve is so funny, bro. <laughs> I just what a watching it, watching it. That's I, a I feel like I, I, feel like, I could use. I feel like playing him is probably not as fun. Well, actually, I don't even feel like I know. I, uh, Steve, uh, Steve sat down and this one guy was like, "Yo, you want to play friendly?" Not here, but it was like uh, at the Lowick Invitation. It was like, "Yo, you want to play friendly?" It's like, it's like sure, man. Sat down, and played Steve. Steve. I was like, I really wish there was like any like a skit being. Hey, we need you for a skit. Oh yeah. man, I gotta oh, go, man. bro. Hey, you know what it is, bro. <laughs> you gotta get oh, out of here. Dude. Yo, next time, bro. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I gotta go. I'll see yeah. you next time. Yeah, man. So, but. Yeah, maybe next time for Void right there. Still a uh, really good uh, gameplay from both sides. I feel like Void was very, very close to getting that to a game five, but Akola, yeah. you know, it's going, Steve going Steve. One Steve, of the best players Steve in the world, Steve. man. Yeah. He's there for a reason. I mean, that first game was fantastic, but Smashville is so small. Void was able to yeah. keep the pressure up, just kind of smother him. And, uh, yeah, wasn't able to keep it up. Steve's pretty good. <sighs> kind of yeah. good. How do you think he did? So game one just looked like it was so small that you could kind of smother him. And then after that, it's like... I feel, I just feel like you played bad game one. Even during sure. game one, I was like, he, I, maybe, maybe it's like summit pressure. I don't know. But I just didn't feel like he was playing like a person. Uh, <laughs> You're allowed to say that. If we say yeah. that, we'll get in trouble. True. Uh, I mean, I, I feel like he just cleaned it up a lot more as the right. game went by. Game one, I, I don't know how he felt, but I just felt like he was ramping up, trying to be like, hey, you know, like this is my first tournament game, you know? Sure. Um, yeah, and then as the games went by, I was like, oh, he's actually hitting me with stuff. Uh-oh. That's not good. <laughs> yes, that's rough. Uh, this game just started a lot on the wrong foot. Mm -hmm. Right. But the one thing that caught me off guard the most is all of his fairs and bears are auto cancels. They're all auto cancels. Yeah. All of them. He never hit, hit like a low fair bear on my shield once. Falling short hop auto cancels, mind you. Yeah. So uh, that was just really hard to get used to because this character is really hard to whiff punish, as I'm sure you, you guys know. Yes, absolutely. Um, so yeah, he, he just played really well. What can I say? Yep. I'm actually really happy. Uh, I don't get to play Steve offline a lot, like in general. I mean, you guys know, I, don't, I just don't play offline that much. Right, true. Uh, and I feel like Steve is a lot easier to fight offline. So I was playing with oh, Machu definitely. earlier, and I feel like I genuinely started learning this match an hour ago. So I did really good. <laughs> He's got a lot of like weird little tricks. Like you saw that down smash with the anv uh, down smash with mm -hmm. the anvil that came down, oh. and then a couple times you would shield the uh, the cart, and then you would get picked up by it, yeah, and then it yeah. would it would take you off, and that's how mm -hmm. you lost the set. It's like it, it just sort of things you have to experience, you know. Because yeah. if it's online, it's like oh, you know, that's just lag. I could have reacted, but when it's offline, it's like oh, that's different, oh no, no, right? it's great. Now I'm like oh man, I can react to these things. Like yeah. uh, in the last game, you know, I died to minecart first. 
But I was like, dude, I can hit him with a back air here. Like, let's go. I can react to this. And then I reacted, and I didn't DI, and I'm like, oh, uh, I got to do that too, huh? You exploded. <laughs> dude, yeah. I went flying. Yeah. Like, was crazy. You were like 80. No, 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 no. Because you went to 102 after hit. I believe you. I checked. I believe you. I believe you. He was at like 170, right? Like, yeah. I think he had a ton of rage of him. I don't think it was like a bit. But that was a good set. Uh, I mean, I'm happy to get it out of the way. I don't think it gets any uh, worse from here, just in general. Literally, yeah. first set Alcala. It's all uphill from here. Yeah, so. yeah. It's a good you call. Got, a, got Incineroar or Mario yeah. next, True. So, you know? Uh, oh, but speaking of Incineroar cool. and Mario, they will be playing each other yeah. right now. This is going to be a, a 